Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And it is Saturday morning. I have my conchita. I have my cafecito right here. So I am ready to go. I am so excited to start the weekend. This week has felt like forever. I spent the first half of it in Austin, Texas. Um, visiting my partner there, but also kind of working from home. And then I flew back Wednesday, finished the week off here, felt like a whirlwind. Um, and then finally we reached the weekend. So Saturday morning, Sunday morning are the days that I tend to film. So I'm always so excited to wake up, not only because it's the weekend, because, but because I get to play in my planners and film some videos. So I'm always in a good mood when I, when I film my videos. All right, everyone, today I'm going to be flipping through a couple of my planners and showing you everything that I've done in the past month. So the month of May, we're moving into the month of June. We're moving into summer, baby. I'm so excited. So I thought it would be fun to do a little flip through, show you everything that I've done um, in my planners, show you all the spreads that I've done, show you how I've used all my planners. And also, I think it's so much fun to just look back and flip through like an entire month's worth of planning and spreads and see how much you've done. And it's also nice to see the after the pen or after the plan, as I like to call it, because, you know, when I do the plan with me, it's very much like half finished and I still add a lot of pen and I, lot of, I add a lot of stickers and decoration like on the spreads as the week progresses. So I'm actually going to be flipping through um, six planners here today. These aren't all the planners that I have and use, but these are the ones that I use relatively consistently, like I kind of use them every single day. I have a couple of other ones that I don't use every single day and I'll flip through those maybe like, I don't know, every season or so. Um, that's like my faith planner and like my reading journal and like my creative journal. Um, maybe I'll flip through those like less frequently, but I just wanted to flip through the ones that I do use pretty consistently. And I'm not going to flip through my budget or my meal plan because I think those are kind of boring. Maybe if I, you know, dedicate more time and thought to them, I'll flip through them. I do want to start like a budgeting series on my channel as well. So we'll get there. But right now I don't really care to show that off. It's just kind of boring. Um, so the planners that I have here, I have a mini horizontal. This is a seasonal doodles that I use for my YouTube. I have my work planner. This is a classic um, color block and yeah, I use this for work. I have my fitness planner. Um, that I use for fitness, obviously. I have this planner, which is my daily agenda planner. It is uh, just full of daily sheets. So anytime I want to have a daily sheet, I reach for that one. I have this huge, barely fits in the frame, big vertical happy planner um, that I use for like my catch all. So we'll flip through that one. And then lastly, I have the joy of my heart. This is my um, my big happy planner. It's Franken planned with like a bunch of different types of planners. So it jumps from vertical to horizontal to dashboard. But I use this for teaching and higher education and my own professional development. So that is this one. I love it so much. All right, let's start mini to big. I think that would be fun to do that little transition. And I'm gonna be eating my little breakfast here on this side. All right, let me see if I can zoom in. I don't like that you can see the glare of the, of the lights. Let me see if I can try to like cover it up. All right, so hopefully this works out. I have my little uh, Mexican blanket here in the background. It's a bit covered in dog hair because uh, I have a pug who is shedding his winter coat right now, but let's flip through this. So this is a relatively new addition to my lineup. I had been wanting like a, like a space to jot down all of my plans and thoughts for my YouTube channel. And the classic was just a little bit too big and it just was a little bit too much to put into my catch-all I got on this idea of using a mini planner because it's like the perfect size 
So I picked this one up um, during like the Extreme Michaels clearance sale. I got this for $2 and some change and it's the cute seasonal doodles planner and there was only two months left like that um you know matches up with this year it was may and june and then it ends you know at the beginning of july here so i only have really like two months that i can use um you know that are dated correctly but that doesn't matter to me because i'm gonna use this planner um i'm just gonna redate this planner and so i ended up moving the month of may to the very beginning here i pulled it out from the back and i put it here in the front and so the monthly calendar view, I use this to like keep track of how many times I publish a month. So every time I publish, I give myself a little stamp and then I write just what I published. And then I started this in at the beginning of May. So I kind of decorated this, um, this side of this, the weekly spread. And then I wrote down some notes down here. And then this was the second week in May. I used the modern Minnie and Mickey. This was the third week. I used um, Disney Villains from the mini sticker book. And then this is the current week. I went with like a yellow theme. And currently I am filming here. So I'm filming my May flip through. So I can go ahead and check that off. And yeah, so that is it. And then we're going to jump into July for the next month. And I love this divider. So I think I'm going to stick with um with this planner but i have a little um undated mickey and mini planner that i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be like pulling out months every time i feel like you know just having something different than the seasonal doodles i'll pull one of these guys and these are undated so it's nice and this is a dashboard i love like the decoration in here so cute love the rings um yeah i'm gonna definitely be like pulling some months out of this guy and popping them into this guy every once in a while maybe i'll start that in august because this is a cute divider but it's not my favorite but i love this one so much so that is my mini planner that i use for my youtube channel it's a great space to brain dump and to kind of map out when i need to film when i need to edit when i need to publish so there is that baby all right let's start with the classics now let me see if i can zoom out okay let's see okay so i actually need to add some more pages to this i feel because like the rings are a little bit big for what's on it i kind of want to fatten her up but this is a planner i put together myself um it's not like any traditional planner i'm reusing the adventure awaits saguaro fantasy desert dreams planner cover from a couple years back i put her on these beautiful like metallic pink discs and this is my daily agenda planner so i basically grabbed that planner with the butterfly on it that has all the daily agenda sheets i popped a bunch of those in here along with other daily agenda sheets that i've picked up from the happy planner over the years and made it my daily agenda planner. I have some stickers in here and I actually still have the month of April in here. So the dividers are reused from that planner. So I used them, you know, the year that I had this planner, but I kept them so that I could just keep, you know, the artwork and use them as, you know, dividers in, you know, future planner projects. So this is the month of April. Um, I have just a good number of daily sheets in here. So these are the daily sheets that that butterfly planner came with. But then I also popped in like pages from block pads as well as um, just various different ones. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with the daily pages. So this is uh, the month of May here. Again, I just have some, you know, random stuff that happened in May 2021 here but I used a different kind of daily sheet here. I mapped out just like a, kind of a bullet journal style daily sheet on the back of that. This was my latest daily sheet that I did May 26th. Love how it turned out. I used this beautiful washi tape from Cafecito Designs and I went with this like beigey um, theme. But that is it that we have there. And I just have a couple of sheets in here 
all the dividers and at the back of the planner I have just like a bunch of different daily sheets in here that I can pull for. So that is my daily agenda planner. I love her so much. Moving on to my work planner. So I got the Be Happy box for my birthday from my boyfriend. So that's where the cover and the discs are from. And this, I'm, I'm like torn about this planner because it was kind of like my, the heart of my solar system. And it has like my calendar, my yearly calendar. It has my New Year's resolutions. It has, you know, my sticky note dashboard, my, my boss bitch morning routine, my bedtime routine, you know, dashboards. And I am going to be phasing out my work planner starting in July. Well, this one, uh, I'm going to be switching to a twin loop, which a twin loop coil you cannot take pages in and out of and so i'm gonna have to figure out where i need all of this stuff to go like these earlier pages because i'm not going to be able to have kind of like a home base for them anymore so i'm still thinking about it but um, this planner has two planners hybridized together to form it i have a month from the hustle and heart uh hourly layout and I use this sporadically um, when I feel like I need to map out a schedule, but I don't necessarily want to have a whole separate sheet for it. I just need like a little space to map out my schedule. I will go to one of these dates and I'll redate it and then I'll use that space to map out my schedule. So I actually used this April 27th and then I used it May 9th and then I used it May 10th. And so I'm gonna continue to use it like that and redate each date until I've filled up, you know, um, I filled up the pages here. So I have, um, actually I still have the month of May in here and I'm debating whether I wanna use these pages. But yeah, I have, the last week in April and then the month of May and this is probably gonna take me like you know a couple of months to fill out because I don't use these super regularly but it's nice to have that have those in here and then the second planner that is hybridized in here is my color block seasonal doodles planner and I transitioned this planner from being like my higher education and my teaching and my professional development and my communications uh, part-time to being like my graduate scientific research planner. And so I transitioned it kind of in the mid, mid of uh, in halfway through April. So this is all like education stuff, teaching, teaching, teaching. And then this week, the first week of May, basically, or last week of April, this is all scientific research, graduate school stuff. So I transitioned it. I put everything that had to do with teaching in another planner. I was playing around with it. And then that was the end of April, the May overview. I don't really use this section too much. Some stickers, and then this is the month of May, and not too much going on here for me in terms of work. First week, second week, third week, and this is the current week. So you can definitely see that this planner is not as decorative as others, and it can get a little bit messy. I mean, it's work, you know, it happens. And then I have the month of June, which I'm so excited because this weekend is graduation. I am graduating finally. Oh my goodness, I'm graduating um, this weekend in June. I'm finally finishing my PhD. I'm so happy. Oh, it's been seven years. And we have a fresh month of June here. So I'm looking forward to filling that out and starting my twin loop in July. And I just have more stickers, a folder, and more stickers. So that is, um, this is my work planner. And I definitely want to change the discs and the cover for June and have it be a little bit more summer themed. So we're going to be doing that in my June setup video, which is coming up right after this. All right, now we're going to do fitness. Fitness, I'm loving. I have her on these like pink marble discs and I'm using the inside cover of the wrong, wrong fitness planner that I, um, that I used, uh, 2021. I have the wrong, wrong cover and the planner pages are all like from various planners. I'm using the, this yoga one. I'm using, um, this work it out fitness planner. So this is April. 
I was definitely like trying to get back into fitness and finally kind of picked up steam around the, at the end of April. And then look at my May um, monthly. I keep track of all of my fitness um, in the monthly as well as in the weekly. And you, you'll see a more detailed version of this when I do like my fitness check-in, but I feel so proud of myself, but not gonna lie, my trip to Austin totally took me out of my routine. I'm hoping to, like this entire week, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened, except for like walking. And so I'm hoping to pick up, you know, today till the end of May and at least get these last four workout, um, workout days in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I had so, so much like energy to work out in Austin, but when I finally got there, it just did not happen. It happens, but I've been really good about working out first week, second week, and halfway third week of May, and then everything went to hell <laughs> once day. I did run. I ran for two miles, but I did not do this workout, and then I did not work out until Saturday and we hiked quite a bit. We went to a national park Sunday, did not hike. So, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, absolutely did not do anything. It just way too much going on. So, you know, it happens. I'm just going to have to call this a wash and just pick it up today and get out there. So that is that. And then the June uh, overview, and we're gonna go into the June monthly. And I actually am reusing these wrong wrong planners. So it's actually taped to like one of the yoga planner dividers that I just didn't really care for too much, like the divider art. And so I like this one a lot better. And so I just decided to use that one and I don't have to redate anything because this is June, 2022. So it's my fitness planner. Super stoked with how that one's coming along. Yay. Okay, now let's go to the big planner. She barely fits in the frame. So this one is also a fairly new addition to my lineup. I got this big happy notes from their latest back to school release. Loved it so much. I knew that I had to get it and I had to use it. And I've been wanting to add another big to my lineup. And so how I decided to use this one was I put all of my teaching responsibilities. I'm a professor at a liberal arts college. I'm just adjunct though, so I only teach one class. I'm also a communications part-time uh, assistant um, working in the graduate division at my current school, um, UC San Diego, and I do communications outreach and recruitment for graduate school. So I have a part-time, I have two part-times and I do various like professional development, you know, opportunities. So all of that is gonna go in here. That's what I decided was I was gonna put all of my like higher education, both teaching and administration as well as professional development in here. And I'm also using this as a spot to put all of my um, community service and outreach work that I do uh, as part of my science education and outreach program in jail and prison. So that is going in here as well. And lastly, I wanted to use this as a brain dump for current events. I had a current events planner for um, a good chunk of time at the beginning of this year and last year. And I've been wanting a space to journal about, you know, things I'm reading in the news. And, you know, I, I like to read like uh, long, you know, well-researched articles on various topics. I consider this all to be part of my professional development. So I put them in here as well. So that's why this became a big planner and I just had to use this cover. It is adorable. I'm using these light matte pink discs from the Cosmic Watercolor Big um, Horizontal Planner. And that is actually the uh, the cover page of this one here. This big like barely fits into my screen. So we have the Cosmic Watercolor cover pages. I love the little design on, on the inside cover here. And this planner is also like a huge hybrid of like three to four different planners. I have the Stargazer big vertical in here, which is what I started off with. This is the monthly. And then um, I didn't start this planner until the 11th on a Wednesday. I made my little happy planner birthday 
box here. I redated this, or I re redated it starting the 9th because I didn't really care to redate um, the pages I wasn't using. But I, re I redated it using Mojo Jojo um, stickers. And this is what, uh, how this is going down so far. This week was the week I went on, on uh, I went on my trip, so I wasn't really in my planners too much. But this is uh, the current week here. Let me pull out this bookmark. Yeah, I feel like I'm still kind of getting the hang of using this planner and figuring out exactly what I want to use it for. So I'm still kind of getting comfortable with her. Then I threw in Disney Villains for the month of June. This is one of their newer releases. It's a vertical. This actually is for next year, but I redated it all. Um, I don't mind redating at all. So I'm redating the dates. This was supposed to be for 2023, but I wanted to use it now. So I'm just redating. And then we have Cosmic Watercolor, which is a horizontal. That's gonna be fun. Uh, Stargazer, Cosmic Watercolor villains. So I kind of flip back and forth between the cosmic watercolor, villains, and the stargazer. So yeah, I, I, I feel like this planner is like more kind of like dark and moody. That's kind of the, the, the feeling I get from this planner. So it's funny because like the outside is so like fun and bright and bubbly, but like the inside is like uh, more moody. <laughs> it's a little bit of a funny juxtaposition. So let me pop this back in. That is this big planner. Loving it. Loving her so much. And then the last planner that I want to share with you all is this baby right here. This is my big catch-all and I'm using, um, this is also like hybridized with like 10 different planners and I go from vertical to dashboard to horizontal. The cover is this gorgeous um, floral Mickey cover from one of their big happy notes. I saw this on sale when I placed my back to school order and I had to pick it up because this is my all time favorite design. One of my all time favorite designs ever. So I'm loving it. I'm using this, these gold Mickey rings that I got from the floral Mickey Be Happy box that my boyfriend bought me for my birthday. The back cover though is this gorgeous like gardening cover from the seasonal doodles vertical planner that is exclusive to Michael's. I just had to have both of them on here. I still need to write my name out here. I'm still like waiting to do that. I'm just, I need some time to do that. But the couple, the first couple of pages are kind of like hybridized because I'm still working, you know, in this, you know, calendar um, year. Like I'm still, I still need to use uh, like May and June for the yearly pages. And some of the newer planners don't start until July here. So I kind of had to pop in some calendar pages from the press florals. And then I could then pop in these um, newer calendar pages that start in July. And these pages are from that seasonal doodles planner. So just like my work planner, I start off with um, hustle and heart hourly, hourly, uh, planner. So this is for cases when I want to have the schedule here inside my catch-all planner. I haven't actually used it yet, but it's here in case I want to use it. And then we get into the month of April. So I didn't start this until mid-April. So this is my first time I ever worked in a big happy planner. And then this is my birthday spread. And then the make currently page. And then this is my May monthly. Something I really like doing and that I've seen other people do is I like to have like um, just like a sentence a day that I write in the monthly calendar page. And I just love to decorate it and have a lot of fun with it. So I do like plan in here. Like if something's happening, I do like drop a sticker, you know, on the day that it's happening, but days I don't have anything planned. I'll check in at the end of the day and just write a fun little, um, just a fun little sentence about, you know, the most interesting thing that happened that day or the funnest thing that happened that day. 
So I had a lot of fun putting this together. I have some Big Ben stickers here. I got this sticker from the Happy Mail. I got from the Happy Planner with my back to school order. Um, I got this super cute Soy Latina sticker from uh, Mexarte Museum in Austin. Love it. This pothead sticker my boyfriend got for me in a coffee shop somewhere. And yeah, so this was the first week in May. I used pressed florals and I also kind of added in some cute little like Mickey stickers, some studio, no, Agenda 54 stickers, some Winnie the Pooh stickers. Oh, I love this one. I used the back to school collection, um, the Mickey Mouse, the Whimsy Wonders back to school Mickey collection because I actually finished teaching on the 12th and so I had to use this little schools out sticker and um, so I as, as I mentioned I'm an adjunct faculty at the University of San Diego and so I put this little cute little sticker I got from the bookstore there with Pooh and Piglet and this I had so much fun putting this together and writing in it this was my um the, the week that i went to big bend national park i flew out wednesday to go see my partner well ten tangent i actually was supposed to fly out on wednesday i missed my flight i had to stay at the airport until 2 p.m the next day to catch my next flight it was insane so i didn't get to austin until Thursday evening. I should have gotten there Wednesday night, but yeah. Mercury retrograde was in full effect, but I had so much fun journaling about our adventure at Big Bend. We went hiking, we stayed in an Airstream, and then this is the current week. I used my big Mickey farmhouse sticker book with a bunch of other stickers as well. And I just had so much fun putting this together. I kind of really wanted to stick with that like rustic, you know, soft browns, soft greens color palette. I used some nice like wellness stickers here um, to kind of, you know, emphasize that I was trying to, you know, decompress a little bit when I was in Austin and in Big Bend. And then I got these stickers in Austin. We went to Rustic Iron Barbecue in Terlingua, Texas when we were in Big Bend. And we, of course, went to Voodoo Donuts in Austin. So I had to pop those stickers in there. And then I have set up the June monthly already using like these green stickers. I got this Mexarte Museum sticker uh, in Austin, in downtown Austin. There's this awesome museum. It has tons of stickers in the gift shop um, from Latina artists and like everything kind of, you know, Chicana, Latina. So had to get a sticker there. And then June, I am sticking with the pressed florals because this divider is my absolute favorite. I love it so much. It's so bright and sunny. So there we have the June monthly and then it's gonna be a vertical. And then in July, we're gonna do jungle vibes and switching to a dashboard, that'll be fun. And then in August, I'm gonna be using this blush in it um, vertical. And then I'm just gonna jump around from <laughs> Uh, this is a Wanderlust vertical planner, and then I use a bunch of these seasonal ones um, that are vertical. Uh, I use a bunch of them in a row here. I don't think I stop using this planner until April. Yeah, I, then I use the Vintage Botanicals, and then Princess Elegance, Marabou Designs, Cosmic Watercolor. Um... Yeah, and you know, these are definitely subject to change. You know, when the month arrives, I might decide that I don't want to use whatever planner I picked out, at, you know, a couple weeks ago. But, you know, I'll get there when I get there. So, but for sure, I'm going to use this June um, for this month. But that is it. That is all. Um, I hope you enjoyed that flip through through my planners for the month of May. And, you know, hope you enjoyed that little like peek into my creative process and how I journal and um, I personally love the after the plan videos much more than the before the plan videos or before the pen. Um, so I think these videos are really fun to film and to watch. So I hope you enjoyed checking out all of my planners. Let me know which spread um, you liked 
the most or which planner you liked the most out of my lineup. Let me know um, what planners you're currently loving. I would love to know. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay creative, and happy planning. Bye!